My husband Glenn and I have held quarterly pussy festivals for as long as I can remember. Aren't we due for a pussy festival, he'll ask. He's always been a horny teenager and enjoys all my bits. He sets up a comfy space and I spread my legs to get shaved. I enjoy watching his careful attentiveness to my mole's Venus. <laughs> After the shave and a shower to the bedroom, my entire body gets oiled, stem to stern. <laughs> then my legs up, he prays at the vulva vestibule. His tongue now caressing my lilting labia. Oh, playing that soft spot near the entrance to my vajayjay like a didgeridoo. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my clitoris. Oh, I'm lost. Life isn't all pussy festivals, though. There's the day-to-day -day grind. We buy a house, we're both working full-time, and within five years, we have two kids. I was living into the roles of wife and mother. Mid-century meals, pot roast, mashed potatoes, asparagus, and salad. The kids didn't want any of it. I was a member of the People Pleaser Club back then. I tried to make everything smooth and easy for the kids, putting chicken nuggets in the toaster oven. I'm placating my husband who did not want to kowtow to toddlers, especially when he was hangry. I had more support than most, yet still, I broke down when my oldest was five. My daughter started kindergarten, and I remember a new awareness of needing to please the teacher and other parents. I insisted on giving 110% at work. Boundaries? I had none. With Glenn, I did not feel sexy. During sex, I was thinking about how I needed to fold laundry, get groceries, lose the baby weight. I wasn't liking myself much then. Glenn always loves me. At times, I admit, I would phone it in and lay there so Glenn could have his release. It helped relieve tension. At 35, I had an emotional breakdown and for the first time experienced depression. Part of crawling out of the hole involved many things, getting a therapist, keeping a journal, and most importantly, finding my circle of women. In 2001, a Native American spiritual group called Yace Burrow Earth Wisdom filled that need. Since then, I've been to countless moon lodges, yoni steams, and healing ceremonies. Years pass. I know I should be grateful, yet there's an underlying frustration I can't quite put my finger on. For about a decade, I work on myself. Glenn never sees the need for self-improvement. <laughs> hmm. In 2009, I participated in a year-long program called Courageous Crossing, where we did inner child work. I carried around a little stuffed animal representing my little girl, everywhere I went for nine months. Really, even work. Simultaneously, with Tantra Theater, I created a performance piece about my teen sexual exploits. Tantra Theater was personal storytelling performances designed to transmute sexual shame into art. I was working on my inner nine-year-old and my 17-year-old slut at the same time. I mean, come on, pick one or the other. 
Doing inner child work caused one of the biggest breakdowns of my life. I had a swollen face and my body ached from crying so hard. I had an epiphany. I'd been allowing my husband to be the commander of our relationship. He is a naturally confident leader. With the same focused attention he gives his RC airplanes, our vehicles, or my pussy, he managed our lives. He planned, coordinated, decided. I liked that he called the shots. It was easier for me. He, the intellectual family head, I, the heart. I created a hierarchy where the heart held less value. Me, a feminist. I kept my maiden name. <laughs> but still, this happened in our marriage. <sighs> I need to let Glenn know that I put him ahead of me. He calls all the shots. And now it's my turn to make some decisions. <sighs> This discovery had me grieving the loss of our relationship. I suspected he wasn't going to be willing to change. After some counsel, I had the guts to have a conversation with Glenn. He hadn't a clue how much I'd allowed for our lives to revolve around his visions. He listened and was willing to adjust. I am the keeper of the pussy. After all, <laughs> I was ashamed of how I had put myself last after everyone else. I had to forgive myself and Glenn and look to the future. How do I make choices? It wasn't easy. Once in the car by Parkway Plaza with the kids, I made a big deal about not playing what they wanted and looking for what I might want on the radio. I had no clue. <laughs> the kids grow up. I attend workshops. Glenn admits that he, too, could benefit from some self-improvement. <laughs> Together, the family blossoms. Another decade goes by. Then, dum da dum dum Perimenopause! <laughs> I had all the things. Night sweats, self-loathing, and dry skin. I mean, in all the places. I am mostly an upbeat person, but those hormones are powerful. Pussy festivals no longer held the glamour they once did. It was a cold and desolate time for both of us, for I could not stand him. He was a befuddled, barnacle-bitten blowhard. And, and I, a crying, crusty cormorant. Fortunately, in 2020, when things were really rough, I had not only vitamins, lubricants, and cheesy bread to help me. I was also a member of the Pussy Wisdom Academy. We Brady Squares on Zoom. Oh wait, uh, the, the Pussy Wisdom Academy. You can't say that enough. During COVID, my friend Leah Rose started the PWA to help women connect. You know about gut instinct and feeling into your heart, but there is something special when pussy says yes. <laughs> we Brady squares on Zoom give each other this signal and praise. You are all invited to join me in the Pussy Wisdom Cheer. Hey, it looks like Beyonce doing this Jay-Z rock. 
A dozen women on Zoom from Great Britain to Mexico to Alaska, therapists, professionals, artists. I'd be in a meeting room at work <laughs> with the door closed, fully clothed. We would sit comfortably, grind on the chair, and go on a journey. Really relax and open and surrender into the pussy. Leah Rose, and what does pussy want? Tune into what pussy wants. Most meetings began with brags, clears, and dreams. I brag. Glenn and I sailed to our favorite cove on Mission Bay. Woo! This is when we reach here. Woo! I clear. I clear how annoyed I get when Glenn makes a big deal about doing the dishes. Does he want an award? <laughs> I clear feeling so scared about COVID. I clear my frustrations with myself for never taking initiative in the bedroom. Woo. <laughs> my dreams. I dream I can be a provocative storyteller. <laughs> I dream Glenn and I put things where they belong. I dream I can be romantic and initiate. One of our pussy wisdom sessions was on a Saturday. Cameras off in our bedrooms. Me. I'm in a cabin on our sailboat in Mission Bay. I've got friends visiting up top who I'm trying to ignore. We've got a wall mirror directly across from our queen size bed. I'm in this two piece silk set with little red hearts. My sun kissed skin exposed. I'm putting oil on my breasts, awkwardly looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Sex drums is playing my favorite. Now I'm lounging on the bed. I'm starting to look at myself with love. Really, really loving myself. The way Glenn looks at me. Leah, Roy, Leah Rose invites us, take your time. <laughs> what kind of touch do you like? Soft caresses, little slaps. <laughs> She finally guides us to gently approach our yonis. <laughs> After touching the soft pudding, we make our way to the clit and do the bread and butter move. <sighs> My friends enjoyed their time up top, and I had an incredible time down below. <laughs> this was the beginning of a romantic relationship with me. <laughs> this new love has brought a heightened level of pleasure in my life, helping me get through menopause, and deepening my intimacy with Glenn and me. And now, yeah, I do clear and dream, but let's get those pussy cheers ready as I share my brags. Pussy and I are truly co-conspirators. <laughs> Glenn and I too, we improvise, make up silly songs and giggle a lot. We go to national parks in our travel trailer. Glenn does most of the work, and this queen is fine with that. <laughs> Last but not least, I brag that I got up on this stage and told you all a personal provocative story. Thank you. Maria Mooney, everyone!